Hello students, today we will discuss single phase full wave AC voltage controller with the resistive load. AC voltage controller is a type of converter that is used to convert a fixed voltage, fixed frequency AC input supply to a variable AC voltage. This can be achieved by varying the firing angles of. So, this can be achieved by adjusting the firing angles of thyristors. Figure shows a single phase AC voltage controller with the resistive load. It uses two thyristors T1 and T2 connected in anti parallel. Here, Vs is the AC input voltage, Ig1 is the firing pulse to thyristor T1 and Ig2 is the firing pulse to thyristor T2. During positive half cycle, here plus and here minus, we can see that during positive half cycle, anode of thyristor T1 is connected to positive and cathode is connected to negative and thyristor T1 is forward biased. In case of T2, cathode is connected to positive and anode is connected to negative. Therefore, thyristor T2 is reverse biased. Therefore, we can conclude that during positive half cycle, thyristor T1 is always forward biased and thyristor T2 is reverse biased. Therefore, firing pulses are given to thyristor T1 during the positive half cycles. Next is negative half cycle. During the negative half cycle, here negative, here positive. In case of T1, anode is connected to negative and cathode is connected to positive. Therefore, T1 is reverse biased. In case of T2, cathode is connected to positive and anode is connected to negative. Therefore, T2 is forward biased. So, we can say that during the negative half cycle, T2 is always forward biased and T1 is reverse biased. Therefore, Firing pulses are given to T2 during the negative half cycles. Now we can see the output voltage waveform when firing angle alpha is equal to 90 degree. Consider the positive half cycle that is from 0 to pi. From 0 to alpha, thyristor T1 is forward biased but no firing pulses are given to T1. Therefore, T1 acts as open switch. Therefore, the output voltage is 0 during this interval. At omega t is equal to alpha, that is at 90 degree, firing pulses are given to T1 and T1 starts conducting and current flows through the path Vs. T1 load back to source. Therefore, the supply voltage Vs appearing across the load. So, from alpha to pi, V0 is equal to Vs. At omega t is equal to pi, T1 is subjected to reverse bias. It is therefore commuted. Consider the negative half cycle. During the negative half cycle, T2 is forward biased and T1 is reverse biased. But from pi to pi plus alpha, no firing pulses are given to T2. Therefore, both the thyristors are in the off state. At omega T is equal to pi plus alpha, firing pulses are given to T2 and T2 conducts, current flows through the path, 
vs load t to VS. back to source that is from positive to negative therefore the output voltage v0 is equal to at omega t is equal to 2 pi t2 is subjected to reverse bias it is therefore commutated so from 2 pi to 2 pi plus alpha both t1 and t2 are off act as open switch again at 2 pi plus alpha t1 is triggered and supply voltage appearing across the load next is the output current waveform output current waveform is same as that of output voltage waveform with the reduced magnitude because here the load is resistive in nature next is the voltage across the thyristor t1 from 0 to alpha t1 is forward biased and the thyristor voltage vt1 is equal to vs from alpha firing pulses are given to t1 therefore t1 conducts and the thyristor voltage vt1 is equal to 0 from pi to pi plus alpha t1 is reverse biased by the source voltage therefore vt1 is equal to vs this voltage from pi plus alpha to 2 pi t2 conducts and act as closed switch that is short circuited therefore the voltage across the thyristor vt1 is zero Again, 2 pi to 2 pi plus alpha, thyristor T1 is forward biased and VT1 is equal to Vs. Next is VT2. From the circuit diagram, it is clear that both thyristors are connected in anti-parallel. That is, VT1 is equal to minus VT2. So, from 0 to alpha, VT1 is equal to Vs. Therefore, from 0 to alpha, Vt2 is equal to minus Vs. From alpha to pi, thyristor T1 is in the on state. That is, act as closed switch. Means, short circuited. Therefore, Vt1 is equal to Vt2 is equal to 0. From pi to pi plus alpha, Vt1 is negative. Therefore, Vt2 is positive. And so on. So, these are the supply voltage, output voltage, output current and voltage across the switches Vt1 and Vt2. Next, we will see the RMS and average value of output voltage. Consider the output voltage waveform. From the waveform, V0 average is equal to integral alpha to pi. Alpha to pi Vm sin omega t into d omega t divided by base pi. Which is equal to Vm by pi integral alpha to pi sin omega t into d omega t which is equal to vm by pi integral of sin omega t is minus cos omega t with the limits alpha to pi which is equal to minus vm by pi cos pi minus cos alpha which is equal to minus Vm by pi cos pi is minus 1 minus 1 minus cos alpha is equal to Vm by pi into 1 plus cos alpha next is the 
Next is V0 RMS, which is equal to area square divided by base. Integral alpha to pi Vm square sin square omega t into d omega t divided by base pi root root of Vm square divided by pi integral alpha to pi instead of sin square omega t we can write 1 minus cos 2 omega t divided by 2 into d omega t which is equal to root of Vm square divided by 2 pi integral alpha 2 pi 1 minus cos 2 omega t into d omega t is equal to root of Vm square divided by 2 pi integral of 1 into d omega t is omega t with the limits alpha to pi minus integral of cos to omega t is sin to omega t divided by 2 with the limits alpha to pi is equal to root of root of vm square divided by 2 pi pi minus alpha minus 1 by 2 sin 2 pi minus sin 2 alpha sin 2 pi is 0 therefore v0 rms is equal to root of vm square divided by 2 pi pi minus alpha minus minus plus sin 2 alpha divided by 2. Next is the output power. We know that the output power P is equal to output voltage square divided by resistance value R which is equal to so, this one is the V0 RMS square divided by R. Next is the power factor. We know that power factor is equal to real power that is active power divided by apparent power. We know that Active power is equal to V square RMS by R. V0 square RMS divided by R divided by apparent power is equal to Vs. Source voltage into current I0 RMS. Which is equal to V0 RMS square divided by R divided by Vs into instead of I0 RMS we can write V0 RMS by R. V0 RMS, V0 RMS cancelled. R, R cancelled which is equal to V0 RMS by Vs. Also we know that Vs is equal to Vm by root 2. So, which is equal to V0 RMS divided by Vm into root 2. Instead of Vs, we can substitute Vm by root 2. Which is equal to V0 RMS is Vm divided by root 2 pi pi minus alpha plus sin 2 alpha divided by 2 raised to 1 by 2. So, this one is the V0 RMS.
into rho to 2 Vm. Rho to 2 V divided by Vm. Rho to Rho to cancelled. Vm Vm cancelled. Therefore, power factor is equal to 1 by pi into pi minus alpha plus sin 2 alpha divided by 2 out of. Therefore, power factor is equal to out of 1 by pi pi minus alpha plus sin 2 alpha by 2. Thank you.